share buyback program of Tata Consultancy Services has seen record participation by investors. With just four days into the offer, investors have tendered 2.9 million shares, according to exchange data, beating the previous best of 0.19 million shares. Individual investors have tendered over 1.9 million shares, whereas QIBs have tendered over 0.97 million shares. The 14-day long buyback offer is priced at 4,500 rupees per equity share for shares worth 18,000 crore rupees. This is TCS' fourth and biggest buyback in the past five years. We spoke to AK Prabhakar of IDBI Capital to understand whether investors should pair their shares. This is like a dividend. You know, see, it is trading at 3,500. Mm-hmm. No, and you no, know, you can you know your uh, your buyback is at 4,500. No, and you know, for a retail investor, you know, one and seven shares, you can, you know, the pro- probability of you getting it is very high. Okay, so okay. for example, if you are holding, you know, uh, thirty-five shares, you now five shares will go off. You now you can, you now you can tender ten shares and you can buy five shares from the market. Okay. You now at three five, you no, know? so it is, you know, it is. Something you know where you know it is like a dividend for them. So yeah. I think you know they they can tender at current price, and you know see you know we are you know we are almost in a corrective market. You no, know, and if things get worse, you know we might get you no know, TCS even at you know three thousand. So some arbitrage, you no know, yeah, retail investors can do. And not just TCS, analysts are bullish on the entire sector as a depreciating rupee supports IT companies that make most of their revenue servicing clients in the overseas market. Vinod Nair of GOG Financial Services says the stock enjoys twin benefits of attractive valuation, which is 29 times forward PE of one year, a premium valuation compared to its five-year average of 23 times, and overall tailwinds for the industry. Coming back to TCS, an important aspect of buybacks is the acceptance ratio. Simply put, an acceptance ratio is final ratio which indicates the total number of shares accepted in the buyback. If in a category the total buyback tendered quantity exceeds the buyback size, the acceptance ratio will be lesser. If the buyback tendered quantity is less than the buyback size, then the acceptance ratio will be 100%. Historically, TCS has seen 100% acceptance in all the three buybacks. On the last two buybacks, the market price of the company was on a rising trend and close to the buyback price on the last day of tendering. This time though, there is a gap between the buyback price and the market price. Given this, HDFC Securities believes the likely acceptance ratio could be between 45 to 70 percent. Meanwhile, Motilal Oswal expects the acceptance ratio to be in the range of 30 to 50 percent, which could give a potential return of 5 to 9 percent within one to two months. Market analyst Vinod Nair recommends short-term investors to consider the buyback offer due to high acceptance ratio from a historical perspective. On the other hand, he advises long-term investors to hold on to the stock with a positive outlook. Against this backdrop, investors will track the IT giant's buyback on Tuesday. That apart, investors will also track the US Federal Reserve's two-day monetary policy meeting, OPEC's monthly output report, Eurozone's industrial production data and news flows around the Russia-Ukraine crisis. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.